have here on our chart, on this, up here on the wall, is a chart. Now, this chart is simply the Bible laid out visual so you can understand it. Um, some people learn visually. I'm, I don't, I'm not a visual learner. I, I like to hear things and read. I read the Bible. I study. I hear it. But some people need a visual thing to help them. So we have maps and charts. And basically, this is the Bible laid out from Genesis 1-1 to Revelation 21. 21. There, there's, a, there's a progression in the Bible. Now, if you don't study the Bible progressive revelation-wise, if you don't study it past, present, and future, I can guarantee you, you don't understand the Bible. I've been dealing with pastors for 13 years as a pastor who, taught, who, who, who I, I teach and, and study the Bible, rightly divide it. And I would have them put the verses that they believe on a time chart. God deals with people on a time schedule. Daniel chapter 9, he deals with the nation of Israel on a time schedule. Seventy weeks are determined upon your people, Daniel 9, 24 through 27. And he gives the prophets in, in, in the Old Testament in Israel a time schedule. God deals with things on a time schedule. We have Adam. God gave Adam a certain dietary law. But then by the time you get to Noah, back in the book of Genesis, before, uh, after the flood, the, the, new, the new creation, as it were, um, he gave him, he added meats to that diet. But by the time you get over to Moses, God separated the meats for Israel, clean and unclean. So it's a progression. God doesn't change, but as mankind responds to God's word, mankind changes, and God changes how he deals with mankind. God dealt with all people before Abraham. When, when Abraham came on the scene, God separated this one man, Abraham, and made of his seed the nation of Israel. And God separated the people in time past as a Jew or Gentile, as the circumcision and the uncircumcision. God put the nation of Israel under the law. The Gentiles had not the law. They were just cast off out of the eyes of God. They didn't have any hope. They were without God. They all died and went to hell. And any, any Gentile that had a, a hope of being right in the eyes of their creator, they had to go to Israel. That, that program kept on through the Lord's earthly ministry, his death, burial, resurrection. Even through the book of Acts, chapter 1 through 7, we see God dealing with this nation uh, as a separate people. But in Acts 7, at the stoning of Stephen, Israel committed the unpardonable sin. And according to prophecy, God would cast them away in his wrath, the unbelievers, and he would deliver the believing remnant of Israel. But instead of doing that, God changed the program with the salvation of Saul of Tarsus, the apostle Paul. Why Paul is in your and my Bible is because God has a grace message. What we see is the fall of Israel, the diminishing of Israel. He wasn't totally finished with Israel. He was giving them a, a, a chance to get saved, not through the gospel of the kingdom, but through the gospel of the grace of God. Not through them being the head of the nations, but despite Israel fallen and individual Jews and Gentiles into the body of Christ. God has been working that message till our day. One day he's going to end it with the rapture, and then he's going to fulfill his prophetic program with Abraham's physical seed, the nation of Israel. That's your Bible. Now, if you haven't been studying the Bible that way, I know you don't understand the Bible. I, I've challenged people for years. If you don't rightly divide the scriptures and understand it progressively, time passed, but now the age is to come, you don't understand your Bible. Because I got a thousand questions I can lay out to you that you won't have an answer to. Not because it's anything special with me. It's because I believe God's word. He says to rightly divide his word, separate law from grace, prophecy from mystery, Israel from the body, the heavenly places from the earth. Israel, believing remnant of Israel, will inherit the earth. The body of Christ will inherit the heavenly places. That's your Bible.